Marinette, I'd like to introduce... Luca? <laughs> mm, I don't like this. You just became friends with her five minutes ago and you're already jealous? It's not that. I just can't do more people. Four is a good number. A manageable number. Five just seems... like a lot. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Luke is not working here. We hired him to help sound design the next show. But he's a great guy. And Marinette apparently went to school with him. Oh. Okay. That's acceptable, then. If they went to school together, doesn't that mean Felix did, too? This is crazy, though. I can't believe you're working at your dream company already, and you're not even out of university yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the position I'm going for, but I guess I'm here. I didn't realize you were back. How to go in New York? It was amazing. I learned so much. I'm honestly thinking of moving there eventually. Wow, really? That's great. It must be nice having the freedom to move wherever you want. And what about you? Freed up at all nowadays? Oh, you know me. Busy as ever. <laughs> you, uh, you know Felix works here too? That's his office. Huh. Felix aggressed? How's that going? What do you mean? It's fine. Totally fine. Well, better than fine. We actually get along now. Can you believe it? Uh-huh. Such a small world that the four of us are all here, right, Alia? I wonder if this is fate at work. Well, whatever this is, it seems like things are about to get very interesting. <laughs> hmm? That's strange. And I don't remember seeing him before leaving yesterday. Yeah, it would be nice to say hi after all this time. Especially since I'm technically working for him now. I wonder where he could be. No, Mrs. Zare. I'm not hiding from anyone. I just like a change of scenery when I'm working sometimes. There's no deeper meaning to it, so you can rest assured all is fine. Hey Felix, what are you doing in here? Working. Whoa, really? I never thought to do that. You know, we could get a sheet to cover the table and make a work for it out of it. I'll let everyone know. If we squeeze, I bet we can no, fit. No, wait, I... Fine, I'm... Hiding, okay? Hiding? From what? I'm... Not ready to face what's out there just yet. What's out where? Did I miss something? No, it's just... I'm... <sighs> I can't face Mr. Kofane. Uh-huh. Got it. I'm on it. On what? There's nothing to be on. Claw Mr. Lemue, what Claude, are you- Claude, again? I thought I told you to take the tinfoil off before- Wait, what is this? Here's the fire. Felix can't face Marinette's friend out there and needs support. Stat. <sighs> All right. What's the issue? I don't- There's nothing. Really. I just- Why is this happening? Look. If you're jealous that Blueberry is budding into your Marinette territory, I get it. I'm with you. But you've dragged your feet long enough. If you're in love with her, just go tell her already. Uh, what? what? <sighs> Claude, stop microwaving tinfoil! Wait, there's no fire? <laughs> False alarm. Why are you all in here? Oh, Felix, this is where you've been. Uh, <laughs> yes... Just, uh... Having our daily Elite Friends for Life Club meeting, of course. You've never done this before. Daily starting today for the rest of time. Exactly. Yes. What's going on with you? Luca and I are going to go get breakfast from downstairs. Does anyone want anything? Nah. No. No, thank thanks. You. Uh, 
No, thank you. Hey, Felix. I look forward to working with you. Uh, yes. Same here. All right. We'll be back. <sighs> okay, what is this really about? Well, first off, I would love for Allegra to kindly explain the bomb she just dropped on us a moment ago, if you would. Ugh, what is there to explain? Has it not been completely obvious? What's obvious? Felix is in love with Marinette. Oh, yeah. Alan, bud, you knew too? I'm surprised you, of all people, didn't notice. This is absurd. What are you talking about? I haven't... I'm not... I mean, yes, she's great and reliable and smart and funny and... But I'm not in love with her. That's absurd. Why are you looking at me like that? Why wouldn't you tell me? I'm your best friend! You've always been able to rely on me! Remember when we shared a moment on the beach at sunset and we exchanged childhood stories and- uh, What? Uh, We're not that close, and that never happened. Don't speak. There's no need for words. I know what I have to do. I'll be your wingman, bro. I got your back. N no, stop, please. There's no need for any of this. I don't need help because there's nothing to help, so just drop it already. Fine. We'll go along with this for now. But what's up with you and, uh, Bluegrass? If you mean Mr. Cofain, we have history. <sighs> Back in school, I had <clears throat> lost my mother when I was 16. I completely shut everyone out, not that I was very close with anyone to begin with, but I had a slight camaraderie with my class before then. Anyway, Miss Dupon Cheng organized a surprise birthday party for me, and I lost it. I don't even remember what I said, I was in such a blind rage. They... they didn't understand how dark of a place I was in, and they wanted to celebrate? It all seemed so twisted to me at the time. Mr. Kofain was there as well, and we ended up getting into a fight. It didn't end well. I know I acted wrongly, but we haven't spoken since, so it's awkward. Well, maybe things are better now. You don't seem to be that person anymore, right? No, I'm well past that now. Then you just have to clear the air. I'm sure it'll work out. That can't be it. There must be another layer to it. Hmm. Oh, I see. Marinette must have had feelings for Blue Man Group at some point. Oh. They used to date back in school. Are you some kind of fortune teller or something? Ugh, it's called observation. So, ignoring what you said earlier, and assuming you do have feelings for Marinette... You see her ex-Blue Jay as a roadblock or something? <sighs> she looked so happy to see him. I may have missed a lot here, but even I notice how happy Marinette is when she looks at Felix. How can he not see that? Miss Baudelaire, please. Ow! Allegra, calm down! Allegra! No! I just went through a journey of uh, self-worth and now it's this idiot's turn! Are we interrupting something? <gasps> All good here! Okay then. Anyway, as I was saying, since you're here now, do you want to attend the reunion? I know you're not technically from our grade, but everyone would love to see you. Sure. That sounds really nice. Reunion? For your class or something? Yeah, we get together every year so we can all stay in touch. Would you like to attend this year? Uh, I... <clears throat> I wouldn't miss it. Well, I've got to get down to the studio to start working. I'll see you around, though? Yeah, of course, I'll send you the details. This reunion sounds pretty cool. Do you have a venue yet? Oh, uh, we usually just go to a restaurant, nothing fancy. What if you use the company's ballroom? Everyone could be fitted in Gabriel brand attire. It would be a really good PR event for the company, too. 
You mean, like, organize a ball? Would that be something we could actually do? Sure. We don't have any big events going on in the next couple of months, so that space isn't being used right now. We could put together a whole marketing package with this. We'll need video, pictures, interviews, profiles, maybe even a full website and lookbook. This sounds amazing! I'll message everyone and see what they think. I doubt anyone will say no. Wow, it sounds like you're gonna need some professionals. And my schedule is always open. It's not even 9.30 and I'm already exhausted. This will be my first fully run project here. So yeah, I'm going to make it big. And help Felix along the way too. Okay, so we have this available in the warehouse. Oh. This is the space we're working with and these are the colors I'm thinking. This is a bad dream, right? Please tell me I'll wake up soon. Ah, uh, come on, it's gonna be fun. Easy for you to say. You're not going to walk into a room full of people who have hated you for years. You can't think like that. Maybe it's all water under the bridge now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water under the bridge, okay. Relax. Just think of how gorgeous Marinette's gonna look in a ball gown. <sighs> that would be the perfect time for you to confess. <laughs> confess what? There will be no confessing of any kind. I won't get in the way of her potential happiness or ruin what we currently have. Besides, I'm her boss. It would be a conflict of interest. Bro, come on. Do you see the way this company is run? I think you're covered on that end. Isn't this exciting? Everyone's on board for it too. This is such a good idea. And I'm really happy you'll be joining us this year, Felix. It's gonna be amazing. Y yeah, yes Me too. This is going to be like a fairy tale. I can't wait. Less than two weeks to prepare. I'll have to get started on my dress right away. Oh yeah, let's skip out early and look at what they have available. It's gonna be okay, man. Just breathe. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to act? I've never felt like this before. I've never cared before. What if they kick me out? Whoa, what if whoa, calm down. It's all gonna be alright, I promise. Don't make promises that you can't keep. What do you think? I ended up having to heavily alter another dress instead of starting from scratch, but I think it worked out. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. You're absolutely breathtaking. So cool. Yeah, super gorgeous. Y yes Mr. Ponchang. You look... radiant. Ask her to go with you already. <clears throat> Shall we head down together? Yes. Marinette! You have no business wearing something so gorgeous. I bet you designed it yourself. Well, why didn't you design mine? This is ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! <sighs> Hello to you too, Chloe. And what are you talking about? Your dress is beautiful! I know, right? It looks perfect on me. Wow, look who decided to show up. It's about time you came to one of these, Faye. What do you mean? Oh, please! Everyone's been wondering where you've been since we graduated. But I... I thought... The day I was... Terrible. How- Nope! There will be no pity party tonight. We were all stupid kids back then, so just get over it already. We know whose fault that all really was anyway, and they are certainly not invited. Oh, Sabrina! What are you wearing? Let me Will see! You please stop shouting. Were you... worried about something? To be honest, I was. That day has been weighing on me for a while now. Yeah, that wasn't the best of times. But I think everything is okay now. I told them all how much you've changed. What did she mean by whose fault it really was, though? Well... Marinette! Wow, you two look stunning! Thanks. <laughs> Seriously, this whole thing is so sweet and everyone looks amazing. Aggressed. Cesare. Hey, Felix. It's been a while. I can't believe Aya's documenting your family's company. <laughs> yes, neither can I. It's an... odd experience. What? You're not used to a whole camera crew following you around all day yet? 
<laughs> I think the interviews are the weirdest part. You think that's weird? I captured Ladybug and Cat Noir breaking in one night after hours. <laughs> There's seriously something interesting going on at this place. Dude, it's so fishy. The whole timing, and these two work there too? This can't be just a regular old documentary. That's what I've been thinking too. Let's go get us all some drinks. Sure. You really are right. There is something going on here. What do you know? Not much, but rest assured I haven't sent your father everything. I know he's my employer, but I don't trust him. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, I would really appreciate it if you'd make a move already. Huh? I see all, man. You can't hide anything from my crew. You better hurry or she'll be gone. I've never really gotten along with Felix before, but I can see he's changed, and he really cares about my friend. So I'm gonna need him to step up for once. <laughs> wow, Marinette was right. These things are weird. <laughs> so, how's it going with Felix? Things are actually going great, if you could believe it. A bit of a rough start, but he really seems to have turned around, you know? We actually make a pretty good team. Uh-huh. And when should I expect to save the date? Well, what are you talking about? We're, we're not dating or anything. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing. You did have a huge crush on the guy back then, though. That was a long time ago. Feelings change, and, well, it wouldn't work out anyway. Okay, dude, come on. Don't get all dramatic on me. I won't push it, but I see the way he looks at you. And you're not very good at hiding it either. Hiding what? Uh... <laughs> it's great to see you again, Felix. Yeah, where the hell have you been? Dude, this place is dope. So, you work for your father now? <laughs> Very cool. Well, it's... It is a lovely venue, and the decorations are so pretty. Yeah, just like you. Oh, stop it. It was really nice of your father to let us do this, and to lend us all these outfits. He, he didn't- That's all well and good, but I'd still like to know why Felix just ditched us all these years. Hey everyone, settle down. This must be a lot for him, so let's cool it, okay? Felix, we're all glad that you're here. I, uh, I am too. And to, to see you all again. I'm truly sorry for what happened back then. <laughs> it's all good, man. Of yeah, course. absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. I guess. <sighs> here, Felix. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Marinette. Hey, Marinette. Hey. Hi, Marinette. I hope all of your outfits are all right. If there are any fitting problems, though, there are a couple of designers on hand to help out. Make sure to go to the photo booth and get an interview done before it ends, okay? I'm going to let everyone else know. What? This is your last chance, buddy. And if you hurt her again, I'll personally see to it that no one finds your corpse. <sighs> All right, come on. Let's go dance off your aggression. <sighs> Yeah, I'm almost done setting it up. It looks amazing. It's gonna get funded so fast. I don't know about that. Don't be modest. Your work is awesome. I agree with Mark. Let me know when the Kickstarter goes up. I'll be the first to buy your comic. That's my job. Okay, okay. Second, then. Marinette! We'll see you later, Marinette. See ya. Luca, I'm glad you made it. Me too. I would have met up with you sooner, but Chloe grabbed me immediately and had a lot to say. I'm surprised you were able to get away. Want anything? How about a dance? That's rough, buddy. I give you a 37.6% chance. And it's steadily declining. Bro, don't listen to them. You got this. Don't let Blue's Clues get to you. Would everyone just stop already? All right, you two. Shoot. That's it, go away. I don't want to hear it from you either. I'm not like them. I don't want you to be with Marinette. You 
You don't. <laughs> of course not. You certainly don't deserve her. No one does. She's a gem, a saint, really. She even helped me out, and I know I was a total mess. So no, I won't allow it. It is selfish, isn't it? Who am I to come between them and their happiness? Totally selfish. There is no way you could make her happy like that. Uh, I know I don't deserve her, but she has seemed happy here too, with all of us. With me. Wait, what am I... Miss Bourgeois, I think you're wrong. Please excuse me. Tch, idiot. Hmm. Miss Dupon Cheng, may I have a word with you? Uh, here. I need a break anyway. Why don't you two dance? a great night, right? Are you having a good time? Uh, um, it certainly has been... interesting. <sighs> Sorry, everyone is pretty excited. There's nothing to apologize for. If this is the worst punishment I can receive after everything I did, then I'll gladly take it. About that, I never got to answer you earlier. Chloe was talking about Lila. Miss Rosie? What did she have to do with it? She came to me about the idea of throwing you a party in the first place, told me it's what you really wanted. So I planned it and then, well, you know, then she turned around like the liar she is and blamed all of us. You two spent a lot of time together after that. I... I never knew. For the record, I didn't spend time with her. She was incredibly pushy and would always end up around me somehow. That must not have given you all the best impression, though. Honestly? Not really. I unfortunately didn't put things together until much later. I'm sorry it all turned into a mess. Again, there's no need for you to apologize. I'm so sorry for everything. <laughs> we really have been apologizing for a lot lately, huh? Maybe we should just start fresh. <sighs> I would really like that. Done. And since we're starting over, I'd like to compliment you on your dashing attire, sir, since I realized I haven't yet. <laughs> Why, thank you, milady. Even though it's not very different from my normal clothes, I appreciate it. Yeah, what's up with that? Am I ever going to see you dressed down? Modeling outfits don't count. <sighs> oh, well, I've just... I've always worn these types of clothes. They make me feel put together and... Secure, I guess. I think I get it. I hope that with all the changes happening, you'll feel comfortable enough to relax around us one day. We're all here for you. But if you walk in on Casual Friday in sweatpants, I think Claude would faint on the spot. <laughs> I can't even imagine it. Gentleman Felix in sweats. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Mr. Pun... Marinette. I'm in love with you. What? The timing of this isn't great. Well, it doesn't matter. I just really need you to know. Well, I, um... I... I can't. Huh? I'm sorry. Hey. Hi. I can't find Marinette anywhere. Do you know where she is? No. That's a shame. I thought you two would be together by now. <sighs> Out of everyone, I didn't expect that to come from you. Why? Because we used to date? Look, Marinette and I love each other, but we learned very quickly how platonic that love was. So if my presence is what's holding you back, you have nothing to worry about. Hmm. Not that it matters anymore anyway. She said she... 
can't. So she's still on about that. <sighs> I guess she still needs to work out her priorities. What do you mean? Besides realizing that we weren't romantically interested in each other, Marinette and I also broke up because she barely had any time for us. She would often skip out on plans last minute. She always felt so bad and didn't want to put me through that anymore. But I think the main reason that held her back was her feelings for you. Feelings? For me? <laughs> yeah. Even after what went down and convincing herself she was over you, I think some feelings still lingered. And I bet they're still there. But she won't admit it. In school she... How? When? Pretty much from the moment she met you. I'm surprised you never noticed. She wasn't subtle about it at all. I'm a fool. It's never too late. Marinette is stubborn, but... Well, I'll leave it to you to figure out. Thank you for being so kind to me. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for... Everything. It's cool, Felix. I hope it all works out in the end for you. For both of you. My ride's here. See you around. right now. Not when we're so close. It's not an excuse. It's just how it has to be. Of course he makes me happy, but that doesn't matter right now. I need to stay focused and I, I, I gotta go, uh, Mom. Bye. Listen, Felix. Hold on. You want to know our... Favorite mugs? Uh... What does this have to do with anything? Uh, um... Is this a trick question or something? Are there different types of mugs? Whatever the most awesome mug out there is, then that one! One that gives you a 100% chance of drinking a substance in peak form. What are you two talking about? Why is this even a question? Definitely the couple's mugs Elon got on our anniversary. Aww, Ivan. My music note handle mug. Very on brand for me, I know. This is really how you want to wield your interviewing power. Mm. I've never thought this deeply about mug culture before. Claude, I'm coming over there, and if you've asked them about mugs again, you're finished. But it's an important question. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's something else. <laughs>